Hey everyone, Hellcat here. You are looking at the Guild Wars 2 beta. This is the second beta weekend running from June 8th through June 10th. And we're taking a look at the gem store since it's been revamped since the last beta. So for this beta you started off with 500 gems automatically and by clicking on buy more gems uh, I don't know if it's going to load again, but you were able to purchase uh, for free 2,000 more gems. You enter your credit card information and it puts like a $1 hold on your account. So this is the home page for the gem store. You've got sort of ads here at the top. So this is the first one as a pirate's life for you. I actually think that's the last one. Discover the secrets of the mystic chest. Explore the world of minis. And if you click on it, oh, I was doing it before. It was taking me to the relevant item. Let's close it and try it again. So there it takes you to the relevant item. And let's see. It's there's not a back button, but it just hit home again. No free samples. Mystic key. And the pirate captain's outfit. So, it also shows a list of feature items and hot items, your recent purchases, favorite items. And there's two options here to browse all. You've also got promotions, which there currently are none. There's style, consumable items, support items, account items, boosts, and minis. Now all the minis I bought last time are gone. They are, they turned into this I believe. This item replaces an item whose definition was deleted from the game's content. A cute little construction worker icon there says under construction if you can't read that and it's worth six copper so let's take a look at each section so for promotions we now have aviator sunglasses which is 150 gems cook's outfit was there last time it's 700 gems uh, it gets five non-combat skills and I'll have to log in my other character and see. Fine transmutation stone. One use. Combine the appearance of one item with the attributes of another. Items must be the same type, usable on all item levels. And if you look, you now get 5 for 200 gems, 10 for 360, 25 for 800. And there's also a gifting option that is not implemented, it looks like. And something ArenaNet has mentioned is they don't have an item previewer in the game yet uh, for this weekend, but you should be able to see what all these different items are going to look like on you before you buy them uh, before release. So here we have Inventor's Sunglasses, Pirate Captain's Outfit, which is what I'm wearing now. Uh, well, it's what I have equipped now. And hero. There we go, town clothes. There we go. So it's the pirate captain's outfit. And it actually changed my look and my hair color as well. Or uh, maybe that's just part of the hat. Okay. I thought that was hair. That's part of the hat. I thought it changed my hair color, but it did not. And these are the different new skills you get which I will show in another video so back to this hmm and it looks like the gem store is brick oh beta why are you so beta alright well I'm going to stop recording here and I'll pick back up once the gem store comes back online Alright, so we're back again. So we have reading glasses, a ringmaster's hat, sailor's beanie, sports sunglasses, a top hat, Your face is funny. I'll squish it with you. 
and then a transmutation stone. This one's a different one. One use, combine the appearance of one item with the attributes of another. Item must be of the same type. Usable on items up to level 79. And some wide brim glasses. Next is consumables. We have a die pack. Each die pack contains seven random dies, five common and two uncommon or rare. Once a die has been unlocked and a character can be used as many times as you like to color armor and town clothes, dies can also be used as components for Mystic Forge recipes, some of which can create specific die colors. And that's 200 gems for that. Yvonne Nash Blades Box of Fun. This replaces the sort of random potions you could buy. Spawn a box full of random fun for everyone in the area. Any allies can interact with the box once every 15 seconds to get a fun effect. Color changing, shape shifting, and other fun tricks can be yours. Each box will remain in the world for 5 minutes. You get 1 for 250, or 5 for 1000. Mystic Forge Stone. So this is to be used in the new Mystic Forge they implemented this weekend. This stone can be used in many Mystic Forge recipes to add a random element to Zamoro's gifts. Head to Lion's Arch to discover the Mystic Forge and its secrets. You can get 5 for 250 and 10 for 450. And finally the Mystic Key to unlock the Mystic Hidden Chests that you can randomly get in your inventory. It's 125 gems support items you can get a bag slot expansion add an, ex add an extra bag slot to your inventory each character can have up to seven bags 400 gems bank access express each portal allows you to access your bank from anywhere once you get one for 35 gems or five for 125 black lion merchant express allows you to summon a merchant anywhere this merchant has some basic items for sale and will buy any items you have the merchant is no usable discounts. by anyone and remains in the world for five minutes. You can get one for 35 and five for 125 as well. Black Lion Trader Express allows you to summon a Black Lion Trader giving you access to trading post pickup anywhere. The Black Lion Trader is usable by anyone and remains in the world for five minutes. So this is for if you're s selling or buying stuff on the auction house. It doesn't automatically come to you in the mail. You have to speak with a trading post. So this lets you access a trading post from anywhere instead of having to find one. You get one for 50 gems and five for 200. Next we have the instant repair canister. Each canister fully repairs your equipped items without the need for repair merchant. One for 70 gems, five for 300. Perfect salvage kit. This kit is guaranteed to remove upgrades from any sort of armor, weapon, or trinket and give the best chance of quality material returns. So bond on use. So that's one for 35 gems, five for 125. And the revive orb. Revives your character from death slowly. This item cannot be used in world versus world or PvP. And that's one for 250. Next we have account. You have a bank tab expansion. Add additional storage to your bank, 30 slots. Any character on your account can access the storage in your bank. You can have up to 8 bank tabs on your account. That's 600 gems. And a character slot expansion. Yay for all of us with Altitis. And basically you get an extra character slot for 800 gems. Next we have boosts. We have a crafting booster. It improves your chance to score bonus experience from crafting items by 50% for one hour. 150. Experience booster. Gains an additional 50% experience from kills for one hour. Also 150. Karma booster, which appears to be missing. Oh, there's the icon. Uh, so karma booster. Gains an additional 50% karma each time you earn karma for one hour. 75 gems. That's a little cheaper. Killstreak Experience Booster. Gain an additional 100% experience from kills for 30 seconds. Time remaining is reset with each kill. How long can you keep it going? 125 gems. Magic Find Booster. Improve your chance to get rare items by 50% for one hour. 150 gems. As you can see with these boosts, unlike some of the other items, they don't come in a 
multi-pack. So it's not one for X amount, five for X amount, ten for X amount. However, there is a multi-booster pack, which is 300 gems, and it contains the Karma Boost, uh, Experience Boost, and Magic Item Boost. So it contains boosts, increased Karma gained by 50%, Experience gained by killing enemies by 50%, and Chance to find Magic Items by 50%. All boosts last one hour, use them all at once, or each one individually. So, Karma, XP, and Magic. So, Karma is 75, Magic and XP are 150 each. So, 375 gems worth of boosts for 300. Uh, basically, it's buy two boosts, get a Karma booster free. Finally, we have minis. And this is a tri pack for 300 gems. So basically it's 100 gems per mini. This pack comes with three randomly selected minis, two common and one uncommon, to add to your collection. Minis are tiny models of your favorite monsters and characters from the world of Tyria. So here I am at the bank. And this is where your something. minis uh, go once you collect them. They go down here. And as you can see there's currently 55 minis in the game. No discounts. So that is the new gem store, otherwise known as the Black Lion Trading Company. So what do you think about this new interface for it? Do you like it better than the old one? Let me know in the comments below. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and until next time, adios.